at the infamous Z-Max. So we pulled in and got everything unpacked, but it's super foggy and it's kind of misting, so we'll see if, how they're going to play it all out. We're here early enough, though, that I'm going to go get in the lines, and in case we make a pass, be ready. We'll see. The line's already pretty long. The fog is not going anywhere, so hopefully it doesn't rain. We don't want to say that. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but we are about to make a pass. I have actually eaten breakfast today. So it's a decent start, even though we we're running on like three hours of sleep. I heard this is parking for slow cars, guys. <laughs> so as I mentioned, we are at C-Max. So the infamous four wide, I've wanted to be at this track and see this track, and so finally I get to, and I actually have a chance to run down it. So. That's exciting. Hopefully the rain stays away, so I do get the chance to run down it, but we shall see. Fingers crossed. Okay, Mr. Lonnie, what are we what are we thinking for the day? So just like every day, Alex, we've had uh, we've had fog and sets in a little drizzle. Uh, the earlier days have uh, it blowed out here pretty quick. As soon as the sun tried to pop through and burn it off here, Mother Nature's being a little stubborn this morning and uh, the. The 1320 is going to dry up soon. It's dried up twice already, and we're all standing here in the stage lanes, and we feel it get wet, and then it dries back up. Uh, so uh, anyway, she's trying. She's trying to work with us. Uh, if we can get some sun to try to poke through, we'll get uh, we'll get this fog blowed out of here, and uh, we'll go racing. So uh, this day is not uh, this day's not put away yet. Uh, we can go to remotely uh, after two here. Uh, the racetrack's cleared us for a little extra time. So we plan on having a full day of drag week at, at Z-Max and uh, head to Bristol. So we have, we're, we're still, as of now, going down that track. We are going down done. the racetrack, <laughs> yeah. So that is the plan and uh, got a great track crew out there, great top end services guys. So we're not putting anything down here that's uh, that could be deemed unsafe or too early. Uh, everybody's gonna feel comfortable before we send the first car. High five. <laughs> A car that is quite literally twice this week caught on fire. Tell me if you see any funny. Okay. They have both been top end fires. They have both been single fires. One and two.
lap for today. Bad marrow didn't do so good. The fastest pass I got was a 10. I just can't get the trans brake to hold. It just wants to push and push and push through it. So made three passes trying. I tried to I tried a regular pass, I tried a foot brake pass, and I tried another regular pass, and it just wasn't happening. So I'm probably out of competition, but I will still be able to drive and actually be in the race and truly finish. Dad had a really good day. He ran his first seven, so that's exciting. So hopefully we'll get him placed. I probably won't place, but hopefully I'll finish the week and make it there. So Z-Max, we are out. We have officially made it to checkpoint number one on day three. We are actually at Pat Moosey's shop. Um, I think we're able to go in, see what's going on in there, as well as just visit with people. Um, it's a little bit different of a checkpoint than what we might normally see. Bunch of cars here. We lost dad somewhere. Along. There he is. So, checkpoint number one. We have a crazy amount of traffic, but Dad lost fuel pressure. When he gets low on fuel, it's just boiling the fuel and he just loses fuel pressure. So, we have to stop every once in a while and fill up. So, enjoy this traffic. Dad's having a tap into his reserves. We are, we are about halfway to our hotel um, where we're going to pull the trans, but we have stopped for gas because there is now rumor that their hurricane is going to in fact hit us. There was, it's going back and forth where, oh it's bad, oh it's not, oh it's bad, oh it's not. So currently the situation is, is this bad and it's coming towards us in that direction is following after us and so they said we need to get out get fuel and we've already been running into no fuel um, that issue so getting fueled up gonna grab some parts and some tools from Home Depot actually and then we're going to head to the hotel and start pulling my trans or at least pulling my valve body so we'll see look right here did you see a mouse or something that was, that was gross oh, yeah. Away. He's right here. Uh -huh. Stay right here. <laughs> we have arrived at the hotel. It is about midnight. We have Jake down here rebuilding, or not rebuilding, building a D1 valve body in the parking lot. Trans brake valve body. Trans brake valve body in, in the parking lot, so. Having lots of fun. Out of a stock valve body. He got it today and happened to bring Somebody a plate with nice him. Somebody was nice enough to bring us one to uh, Pat Musey's engine shop. So, there's actually, the, the spirit of hot riding is still alive and well. So, valve body being built. We got the car on the jack stands. We're draining the fluids now, and then we're gonna drop the pan shortly. Okay, we got it. Oh, we need the manual valve. And then I just looked down. Big, big, long. Maybe. Sockets way over there on the side of the paper towels behind that to me. And we're also gonna need a ratchet. I wanna. Come on, you ready? Okay. 
Okay, it is 2.45. Mm, yep, 2.45. <laughs> We're going to be in bed by 2.30, but my car now backs up and has a trans brake. It's working again. So, 8.50s again. What all did we do? Uh, we got somebody to bring us a valve body to Pat Music Shop and, uh, and a pump because we thought we might have to pull a transmission. Got those pieces. I brought some spare pieces from the shop when I came and got here, built the valve body up into a trans brake, and jacked the car up, swapped the valve bodies, rewired it for the different trans brake, and tested it in the parking lot at 2 o'clock, 2 30 in the morning. So we're all good. Now we're ready to go race. Showers. Shower time. Okay. I definitely need a shower. I know. I love his oh, mustache. Bye. Thank you. Coolest mustache in the history of mustaches. Hello. How are you doing, girl? How's the car? Slow. I heard you had problems. Yeah, I got the new radiator. Yeah, and then yesterday, I was in Wishka, because we had some problems to get in here. And again, so I was stuck in the half I, 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 you know, old school, I thought, well, it feels good on the street. So, you know, you put it in. If you get out there, the, the clocks don't lie. That's why, that's why everybody drives an eight-second car. You know that. I mean, nothing to it. There's a lot. I can't make mine go eight six. Oh no, you just on the wrong computer. That's it. You get on the internet, everybody drives eight second cars. That's it. Or their uncle does, right? Yeah, somebody they know. They all they, they all know have somebody. One. They know someone who knows someone. Yeah. So tell me if you have time. Tell me if you have time. When was your first drive? Uh, 2012, the year before you started. Uh, I I had gotten interested in drag week probably the second year they had it. Uh, I used to race, got out of it when it got trust road. I, I, I want to have fun and want to see if I can put together something that will go fast. And it got, it got to where it was. Like I said, cut I mean, it, it, and, and I lost interest uh, and raised the family and all that. But the, my last three years with John Deere, the, the boss of his son got into drag racing. They asked me to help him build a car. He actually paid me my salary to build them a car. Uh, and, and so I, I got to build them a car. He told me how fast he wanted to go and, and gave me the credit card and paid me my salary to build them a race car. Uh, so I did that and that was fun. But uh, it gave me, I found out it was still cutthroat and had no interest. But this is what I always was interested in. Mechanics end up. You gotta put it together, run it, and drive it. And make it last. And make it last. Make it get in there. You are racing yourself. Yeah, it's basically you and your vehicle against the event. So did you put this truck together for Drag Week? I don't remember. I had bought I had bought the truck intentionally to, to do Drag Week. Got it used for a thousand bucks. They, they put a four in and, and some stuff. They had the stacks. I hated the stacks. Um, but, yeah, I was going to rebuild it. So I bought the truck, drove it around for a couple of years. And it was one of those things I was going to do. Going to do. 